Hey friends, I'm here to do a comparison of a few products you may have heard of with some things that are um, usually available in the same store just a few aisles away, but for a lot less money. <laughs> We're going to talk about that. Um, I want to make it clear that I'm not trying to make you feel bad if you've already bought some of these extremely overpriced products, or even if we get through this video and you still want to buy some of these extremely overpriced products, it's okay. A lot of people do that. You're not going to hell, I promise. We're going to start up here at the top with Dilusions Paint uh, in Vibrant Turquoise. This is two ounces of paint. Um, it feels heavier than two ounces of craft acrylic because it comes in this very nice uh, clear acrylic jar, which, you know, when I buy craft supplies, I'm definitely looking for a fancy jar instead of, I don't know, quality paint or the ability to make art better, which, hey, by the way, you random person out there watching this in internet land, you're already really good at making art, and you don't need a specific product to make you better at making art, I promise you, with every fiber in my being. Um, and sometimes the people who have these names on their products, they don't say that, because if they did, you might not think that you need their products, you might not buy them. But I'm just wanna wanna throw that out there today. I don't know. Maybe that's why my name is not on this video. Um, that and I'm afraid I'll get sued. I'm gonna start with a technique that I've seen the creator of the dilutions paint do, which is to uh, use a dauber, which is, as you can see has already been used very recently with the same paint. Use a dauber to get it through a stencil and she just kind of swirled it around. So that's what I'm gonna do. It went on very smooth. And they sell this because it goes on smooth and flat and it dries quickly. And I was watching that demo video before I had ever bought any dilutions, and I said to myself, oh, it's craft acrylic. And went and got some and tried it, and it was craft acrylic, just in a fancier jar. The jar is a pain in the butt for me. It's a two hand open and close, which is not conducive when I have hands covered with paint when I'm in a hurry to say, get my dauber in a bowl of water, which I neglected to bring in here. Here is the bottle of Craftsmart acrylic paint in roughly the same color. I was not able to match it completely accurately. Again, I have already done a take of this video, so there's some sort of drying on my mat. I'm gonna do the same technique, different dauber. You can see a slight color difference here the craft acrylic paint is a little bit lighter and the dilutions paint is a little bit greener. Now, up it goes. That's a nice clear image. Um, you can get roughly the same effects. It's going to be dry in just a couple of minutes and you'll be able to do more layers. The markup on the dilutions between uh, between the craft acrylic, acrylic Blah, blah, blah. between the craft acrylic and the dilutions. It's a 500% markup for dilutions to get exactly the same effect. And I've read that these jars dry out faster and that other people kind of have problems with them. But you know, they're branded with a recognizable name of somebody whose art is really popular. So they're really popular too. Anyway, I don't see too much reason to buy the dilutions. Um, I bought that so I could do this video demonstration and show you that there's really not an appreciable difference between them. I'm a big fan of, a fan of craft acrylics. I do jelly printing with it and all kinds of painting and printing through stencils and all of my journaling. It's a lot of fun. Um, I'm gonna move on now to distress markers. Oh, and I'm gonna, here's the back of my hand. That's mostly dry, but for the edges, back of my hand. The craft acrylic is almost completely dry. There, I got covered in paint for this purpose. Um, okay, on to distress markers. I was really interested in these. They're water reactive. They come in a wide variety of colors and they're $17.99 for a pack of five, which on its own was enough to kind of make me choke. <laughs> and then um, I looked nearby at Michael's and I found Watercolor Markers by Artist Sloft for $14.99 for 12. And that's before the Michaels coupon. All of this stuff is available at Michaels, but if you're paying full price for anything at Michaels, my friend, my friend, please print out a coupon, please um, put it on your phone. Uh, all, almost all their coupons are at least 30 or 40% off every week. You can get these things much cheaper. They can be had. 
So here's Distress Marker in Bundled Sage. And Tea Dye. Very nice colors. Here is an olive watercolor marker. Again, they're not an exact match. The Artist Loft watercolors tend to be a little bit more vibrant. Um, the, I'm sorry, the Distress markers tend to have a little bit more delicate color. But for both of these, again, Distress markers on the left, Artist Loft on the right, as soon as I come in with some water, that color just dissolves. And it does it so nicely. It's really a cool effect. I really like using these. So I'm gonna do a technique with these that I have seen um, on some other videos. I'm gonna take a stamp. It's a feather, which you can't really see yet. Uh, and I'm gonna do distress marker directly onto the feather. Then take that and I spray it with water. Then I stamp that image and I'm going to do this twice on each side because we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of these in a moment too with another product. Have you guessed what it is? Yes, the only other product on the table. Okay, another image with distress marker tea dye. very nice. It's a very watercolory effect without having to actually brush watercolor onto a stamp. These don't grip quite as hard as watercolor does. I don't think I would be able to get my Winsor Newtons off of my stamp, probably. Now I'm using the Artist Loft watercolor marker. Both these and the Distress markers have dual tips. I don't ever use the short tip. That's just me. I really like the brush tips. There's the watercolor effect with the Artist Loft watercolor marker. And one more time on that side. Shabam. I don't know. I just like to say shabam. Okay. Now I'm going to pat these dry because I neglected to bring in my heat tool, which is a silly thing to forget when you're doing a craft supply comparison video. It's kind of useful to have, right? And now we're going to compare these last two items. We've got Distress Micro Glaze. This is a seal that is um, supposed to go over all of the water reactive distress materials. So distress stain, distress inks, and distress markers can be covered with this and then you can work on top of them with more water and they won't run. Really handy, right? Well, here's Cold Wax Medium by Gamblin. This is available in the painting section of Michael's. Um, I can't find it on their website and I forgot to check in the store when I was there today because I'm silly, but uh, I looked online and you can get this at Blick Art Supplies for $6 for four fluid ounces, whereas the microglaze is $8.49 for one fluid ounce, which makes this a 500% markup on the microglaze. Um, nice work if you can get it. I'm gonna use the Distress Seal on the Distress Product, and I'm gonna do it on the leftmost feather. I have a tiny bit of this stuff on my finger and I'm working it up the paper and just sealing it. I have used this and the cold wax medium on stamped images and drawn images and on watercolors, like my actual fine art watercolors. I've never had any problems with smudging while I am working it into the paper. It has not been an issue. This stuff is great to work with. Okay, here comes the Gamblin. It's gonna go over on the rightmost image. It's the same stuff. It feels exactly the same. It looks exactly the same. It does exactly the same thing. And I'm rubbing it into this rightmost feather. Okay. Take a paper towel. 
I'm going to gently buff both sides just to make sure it's nice and matte. Now I'll bring out my trusty sprayer again. Oh, look at that. Do some more on this side so you can see the beading. It uh, completely protected this feather over here. This was the microglaze. Over here, we have the cold wax spray, exactly the same effect. This feather is almost completely obliterated. It was unprotected, if you'll recall, and this one is running again, and it's in a puddle of water, um, and it's reactivating that distress marker. Oops, got some watercolor marker in my distress marker, but it's okay because they're exactly the same thing. Um, so again, that's a 500% markup. The markers themselves, um, you're paying about 288% more for distress markers than you are for the Artist's Loft uh, watercolor markers. And again, it's a 500% markup for the dilutions paint over the craft acrylics as well. But you can get exactly the same effects. So I hope this helps you out if there's a technique that you've been dying to try, but you haven't been able to justify the cost of some of these products yet. You can still get them. They are in the craft store just a few aisles away for much, much cheaper. Thank you for watching.